Greetings, viewers of the Tubeland. My name is Tyler, aka Chico of Chico Crypto, and you know what time it is. It's time for Crypto and a Gold One. Tasty, tasty beer. Out of Massachusetts, actually. Their Clown Shoes Beer Brewery. Baked Goods Hoppy Ale. Hoppy, hoppy. It's hoppy. I'm real hoppy. Mmm. Be making some funny faces for this video. So, the unpopular opinion going against the grain that is what makes Chico Crypto so special. We don't have a filter, we tell it like we see it, and usually we get a shitload of hate for it in the beginning. Well, let's do what we do best and call out something that looks highly suspicious to us a new coin who is pumping like a cryptocurrency during a bull run Raven Coin. So, before looking into the suspicious activity, let's figure out what Ravencoin is supposed to be. Ravencoin is only 10 months old as a project and was officially launched on January 3rd, 2018. They are aiming to be a vision of Bitcoin, a community coin, with anyone able to contribute and add to the project. Supposedly, there are no owners or a team of developers who control the coin. The main function of the platform is using the blockchain to facilitate the transfer of assets. This includes financial instruments like cryptos, security tokens, stocks, bonds, and deeds, as well as digital items like gaming items and digital art. Ravencoin is intended to be the rails for these assets and will power the transfer of the assets through Raven's decentralized network. The project boasts there was no pre-mine, nor no developer rewards, pre-sales, and it says the project was launched fairly, just like Bitcoin. Raven employs a new algorithm for its proof-of-work consensus called X16R. This means that it actually uses 16 already developed algorithms that are randomly selected based on the hash of each block. With this, it makes it very difficult to build an ASIC for it thus decentralizing the mining process. Here is my gripe with the coins going against ASICs. ASIC miners are a natural evolution in the mining process. Just like when gold went from panning to machine extraction, same concept. CPUs and GPUs can be considered the pans, while ASICs can be considered the large industrial equipment. That is why I don't see why many projects like Monero, Vertcoin, and now Raven are fighting this. It's going to be a never-ending battle, which will cost the project tons of money to keep fighting. If you think about it too, GPU mining can be centralized too. A person with a ton of money can get a ton of GPUs, thus controlling hashing power by money. An ASIC resistant hashing algorithm isn't cause for concern though. Let's get into what is. This is where the suspicions begin in February of 2018, just a month after Ravencoin's launch. Patrick Byrne, the CEO of Overstock.com, invested millions of dollars into the project. The direct quote Byrne told Business Insider that the company has put millions of dollars into teams for Ravencoin. On Bitcoin Talk, the popular crypto forum, Ravencoin had their announcement, and they list no controlling companies, but do list contributing companies, Overstock and Medici Ventures. Who is Medici Ventures? A wholly owned subsidiary of Overstock, basically their blockchain venture fund. So Overstock and Medici put in millions of dollars into the team of Ravencoin. Just for the fuck of it, the devs of Raven had to receive something in return, right? Well, the devs of Medici are actually developing Raven. Ravencoin boasts itself as an open source project and the core developers are not highlighted whatsoever, not shown on the website and the most highlighted developer is Tron Black. Here is from Bruce Fenton's Twitter in May of this year. Ravencoin's dev Tron Black and Raven dev Jesse. Who is Bruce Fenton? Of course, he is part of Medici Ventures. This is what Patrick meant when he said he has put millions of dollars into the teams. He is controlling the coin. But how? How is he controlling it with a fair launch and no pre-mine? Well, just think about it. What most likely happened is they launched the coin with a ridiculous amount of GPUs already aimed at it to basically pull off a pre-mine while not actually being a pre-mine. If we look over at the total hashing power chart, we see some very telling things. Even the beginning of January, the Ravencoin blockchain had over 1.5 million hashes per second of power. And let's say an average GPU hashed out 650 hashes per second. And that would be a farm of 2,500 GPUs right out of the gate. A farm? I think so. Now, looking back at the chart, we see the hashing rate didn't have any major increases until Overstock started talking about the unknown coin they recently invested millions in. 
Hashing power goes up significantly when it reaches its peak in April, with over 2 billion hashes per second, but then slowly starts decreasing over time as interest in the project starts to fade. Through the months of July and August, there is some suspicious spikes in hashing power. Just a quick spike up, then down, up, then down, up, then down. Ravencoin even blamed this on a mining pool called NiceHash, saying they were joining, then dumping, joining, then dumping, which makes no sense because the price during that time didn't boom or go crazy, forcing these miners over because of profits. I have a theory, and it is just a theory. This was Binance and Overstock gearing up their own farms and testing them on the network to make sure everything was good to go because as we see the day after the hashing rate hit its lowest after its peak, a massive increase up in hashing power. It went from 473 million hashes per second to 2.2 billion hashes per second in three days. Clearly a group turning on a GPU mining farm for something. Now I said Binance, why Binance? As we know, Binance listed Ravencoin on October 12th. Medici and Overstock knew the coin wasn't going to survive if they continued, so they cut a deal with Binance. List us and we will both mine the shit out of it, controlling 78% of the hashing power from when the boost first happened until the Binance listing. Then, list the coin, saying it's the fairest coin to launch, no pre-mine, and has ties to Bitcoin, causing the price to go absolutely bananas while they wreak the profits. I mean, just look at the price charts, pumping like a bat out of hell after the October 12th listing. Now, CZ has a vested interest in this coin, Overstock, and Medici Ventures. Out of 43 people CZ follows on Twitter, guess who is one of them? Remember Bruce Fenton of Medici? Well, yep, he follows him on Twitter, and they have even had conversations on Twitter. CZ even retweeted this about Raven's listing. Back to listing, Ravencoin, no ICO, community project, humble people, no listing fee. So CZ rarely tweets about a list and why no listing fee? It's because a mining deal was struck, in my personal opinion. This connection to an exchange goes against even what the Ravencoin promotes on their website about their unique characteristics. No rush to link up with an exchange. Now everyone, this is just my theory and is by no means confirmed. This is just from what I uncovered because a pump like this is highly suspicious in the middle of a bear market. I mean, in a full on 20K Bitcoin bull market, possible. But right now, no. Cheers, and as always, I'll see you tomorrow.